The Olden World, written by Tsar Yoshi. Chapter 567 A House Call Words drifted up the Immortal Dream's front staircase as Starlight led the way toward the library, the place she remembered Valet and Shinesburg being. It all sounds eventful, all right. I bet the news is spreading pretty fast, a familiar, soundstone transmitted voice was saying. She emerged with Senesei on her heels to see Valet sprawled face down on the floor, Shinespark sitting at her side and both staring into the glowing crystal. Amber had been called, apparently. Hey, she greeted, making her presence known before she intruded too quickly. Bah! Valet lifted her head, trying to swivel her neck to look. Ow! Hey, Starlight! Senesei? Shinespark nodded in cordial greeting, and Senesei waved awkwardly back. Hey, sorry to show up unannounced that you vote, especially if you're trying to beat the pressure. I didn't see it, but heard there was an upset, and wanted to say congratulations. Yeah, that's one way of putting it, Valet groaned. A whole lot of upset going on from all sides right now. Apparently, it was such a bad move for me to try to win that, Wallace let me just so I'd learn a lesson or something. But that's our problem. What's up? Senesei, Amber chimed. Valet, this isn't that mayor you were telling me about, is it? Senesei approached the soundstone curiously, stretching out her neck toward it. Hello? This can talk to someone? Long-range soundstone. It works all the way from here to Anridge. Probably farther, but we haven't tested it. I'm Amber, though. Nice to meet you. You're one of Valet's friends? Nice to meet you, Senesei echoed. Can you see for this, then? Or just talk? Just talk. No idea how it works either. We stole them from some charlatans, but it's almost like I can see with everyone's awesome descriptions of the Empire. We're just sitting here talking about Stormhoof and the tournament and maybe relationships later if we're feeling like mayor talk. But hey, come and join us. Starlight didn't join, instead leaning against a chair a few paces away as NSA trotted up, noting how Amber was so comfortable with social situations she was automatically leading the conversation dynamic without even being there. It was nice, she decided, having someone else doing the work of giving her an excuse not to talk. Senesei nodded at the soundstone and settled in, giving Valet a concerned look. You look heavily injured. I should have expected it from Wallace, but are you alright? Something approaching, maybe? Uh, Valet gave a pitiful look, then huffed, adjusting her leg cast and scratching at the bandage around her middle. Good enough, I'll get better. Bad enough, I'm entitled to complain about it. And half a healing potion. I kinda wanna conserve those, though. But bananas, the worst part is everything that doesn't look broken. Leg hurts? Yeah, I can deal with that. Get chucked on the ground and stepped on or whatever. Ow! My spine feels like someone took a garden hose and stretched it too long. My hips are gonna cramp up so hard the moment I get off them. My head hurts, I probably can't fly. Get the picture? Senesei winced with every description until Shinespark cut in, looking abashedly at her hose. I try to help, but not really my area, you know? If Lee didn't appreciate it anyway, I don't know what to say. Thanks for trying, though, Amber replied. I'm just imagining how easy it would be to get lost in a place like Stormhoof. The way you make it sound with all the maze-like gates and roads and bridges, it sounds like you spent half your work just finding your way to the Coliseum. Heh, <laughs> wings, remember? Valet flexed a good wing. It's kind of designed to be seen from above. But we've also been living here for like two months by now, and it's just an island. Pretty sure I've explored more than half of it myself, and that's just with my free time. Senesei was still paying attention to Valet. I can try to help, if you want. Valet blinked at her. Huh? With your condition, Senesei pointed a hoof, glancing between Shinespark and the Soundstone. I know some things about muscular and skeletal things, remember? Oh, yeah, Valet Bryden. Oh, yeah, then she drooped. Sorry, I've, uh, had a bad experience from exactly the same offer in the past. Got messed up by a monk dude right after I met you the first time. No offense, but, uh, you know. Uh, Senesee winced. Someone used misfeel arts on you in the past without you realizing it and let you walk away anyway? Wow, that's either a lot nicer than usual or long-term sabotage. You got yourself taken care of somehow? I remember that, Amber added. You didn't complain too much while we were talking about how tired you were, but afterward? 
Havily nodded. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got that fixed up. While we were in Isvaldi, I don't remember how, but Chaucy somehow found out and had some sort of dog patch me up. Uh, she blinked. Although, actually, now that I think about it, Nanith, Chauncey is weird, and that dog was mega shady. Honestly, from what I've seen, you're way cooler than they were, so sure. If I could trust them, I trust you. Go ahead and do your thing. Shinespark watched, and Amber listened as Senesi put her hooves on Valet's back, felt for a moment, and frowned. Feels like you're just all banged up. I can help straighten things and keep it from cramping, but you're still going to need rest more than anything. May I remove this bandage? I'd like to see what's underneath, and will need direct fur contact on your entire spine. Yeah, I'm sure. It's itchy anyway. Just make sure we've got a second. Valet glanced at Shinespark. You've got medical supplies in here, right? We do, Shinespark confirmed. I'm not sure how many bandages of that size we'd have to replace it with, but definitely at least one. Senese carefully unwrapped the bandage, rolling Valet partway over and pursing her lips at the side of Valet's belly. This itches because you used magical healing with the bandage still in place on an open wound and didn't clean it afterward. A gentle bath will help you feel a lot better. Yep, I could go for that right now, Valet groaned. Starlight stepped curiously closer, getting a look for herself. There was a decent amount of dried blood in Valet's fur and raw, partially restored skin that reminded her of a weak old scrape formed a crosswise slash across her belly. She folded her ears, imagining it as a fresh wound, and Valet fighting on anyway, taking a second, even harder blow, and still going. For a moment, a spike of anger at Wallace coursed through her, but it quickly subsided, leaving just a gentle concern. Valet seemed to be in good hoof, though. She didn't get any impression that Senese meant her harm. This won't hurt as long as you don't stretch too far the wrong way, and don't touch it with anything aggravating, Senese decided, which probably isn't an option if you're fighting in a tournament, but take care of it, okay? I don't even know what's in your cast, but this will either get a lot better or keep bothering you for a long time, depending on how you treat it, and stay on your side for now. It'll be more uncomfortable if you're laying on it while I work. Valet grunted in acknowledgement, and Senesi started working her hooves against Valet's back, humming in concern. After a few seconds, there was a loud crack, and Valet winced heavily, tensing all her legs. Ow! Bananas, that was... Ow! Something just went back into place. That'll happen a few more times before I'm done, Senesi warned. You gotta hit hard. It should start feeling better soon, though. Valet alternated between wincing and closing her eyes in bliss as Senese continued her work. So, Amber said after a long while, who still have to talk? Sounds like someone's getting a professional massage. I'm here, Shinespeck volunteered. Starlight nodded, at which she added, Starlight too, I think. Starlight! Amber's voice instantly took a step in cheering us. I don't get to talk to you often. How have you been? Uh, Starlight folded her ears. The same as always, Valet's teaching me how to fight. Apparently, we're going to get a lot more public attention now that she did something in a tournament. Yeah, she was talking to me about that, Amber consoled. I've got a surprise I've been working on that might help a lot, though. Trust me on this. It's something you all should really like. Okay, Stolly shrugged. She had nothing against Amber, and the mayor's energy and enthusiasm were sometimes nice to be around or watch, but she hadn't quite felt like they clicked enough to know how to make small talk with her, and that left her with nothing more to say. Willow, on the other hoof, an idea slowly crossed her head, and she figured nothing important enough was happening not to ask. Willow isn't there, is she? Could I talk to her? Amber paused for a moment. Yeah, she's, uh, not actually available right now. Sorry, Starlight. You really got along with her, though, didn't you? Stolit winced, feeling like she had been seen right through. Scheinsberg, though, stepped up by her side. Come on, Amber, she wheedled. I know whatever's been going on has been going on for a while, but if it's part of the surprise, Stolit's a kid. Save it for Valet and Maple? Amber sounded slightly pained. Not available as in actually not available. Sorry, Starlight. I'll make it up to you too, though. 
it won't be long, I promise. Valet narrowed her eyes, twitching slightly as Senesse pressed a spot on her back. Amber, uh, just so you know, Iron Flanks isn't listening right now. So if there's anything we need to break gently to her that you don't trust anyone else not to say, we could hear it now. Or even just Sparky. She closed her eyes. It's about white chocolate, isn't it? Her pregnancy? Oh, no, she's fine. At least she was fine when I last saw her, Amber promised. No, it's... You'll see soon? If you say so, Shinespark looked wistfully at the soundstone. Just stay safe, okay? Don't worry, Amber insisted, voice slightly less strained than Starlight felt it should be, given the tone of the conversation. I'm staying very safe, and I know it's a subject we've been dancing around more and more lately, but I really think the surprise will be worth it. And when I say soon, I actually mean in about- WHOA! A burst of noise, coupled with a loud splash, echoed for the soundstone, and then it transmitted nothing but silence, though the connection remained glowing. Senese stopped her massage, everyone looking at each other and blinking. End of chapter 567